Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Rob Lurch and today I'm going to be telling you how the PE exam has changed. These changes will go into effect April 2024 and in this video I want to talk about what is changing, what's remaining the same, and my thoughts and opinions on the new exams. If you do enjoy the content, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you can follow me on Instagram at the Lurchness Monster. All right, let's get into it. So you did hear me right, the NCS is changing the PE exams effective April 2024. And basically what is happening is that the breath portion of the exam and the breath topics are being heavily removed or completely removed depending on the specialty exam that you take. Now this basically means that there will be a total of less topics on each PE exam. I actually have the breakdown and I'll give you those numbers right now. So for the water resources and environmental, the old exam had 17 topics, the new exam has 12 topics. Structural engineering, the old exam has 11 topics, the new exam has five. Geotechnical engineering, old exam had 18 topics, the new exam has 10 topics. Transportation, the old exam has 18 topics, the new exam has 10 topics. And the construction, old exam has 15 topics, new exam has 11 topics. All right, let's talk about what is remaining the same for the new exams. So you'll still have a total of nine hours of test taking experience, eight hours of test taking time. So basically you'll have a 10 minute tutorial in the beginning of the exam. You'll be given 40 questions, then a 50 minute optional break. Once you submit those 40 questions and you can't go back to those after you submit, you'll have that 50 minute optional break and then the rest of the 40 questions to finish your exam. Total test taking time is eight hours. So 80 questions, eight hours, it breaks down to six minutes per question. And in total, like I said, test taking time is nine hours if you add in that 50 minute optional break and the 10 minute tutorial. The exams are still computer based, they'll still be online. You have to go to the test taking center to take them. You'll be given the reference manual. They are updating the reference manual. So make sure you download the new ones and use that as you study. And they will also be giving you the additional references to whichever specialty you decide to take. Now my thoughts and opinions on the new exam formats, I actually really like the new format and it makes a lot of sense to me. If you think about it, the FE exam is essentially testing you on everything you learned in your undergrad degree. The PE exam is testing you on everything you learn as a professional, as you work and gain true engineering experience. So it makes more sense that the exams are more specialized and a lot of the topics you don't necessarily work on on an everyday basis are removed. I also wanna point out, I know a lot of people will ask about the level of difficulty. The fact that there's less topics on the exam, I think will help. I don't think the level of difficulty for the questions will change. But the fact that you have to study less generic topics and you can really condense your studies on more specialized topics that hopefully you're interested in, I think will help um, make studying more enjoyable. Now the best way to prepare for the PE exam and to pass it is through an online course. I took the School of PE online course for both the FE exam and the PE exam and I know for a fact I would not have passed either without their help and guidance. I do have a discount code. You could use Lurch100 for $100 off any of their courses, and they are adjusting their courses in real time to accommodate the new changes and the new exams. So definitely check it out. I'll put all the links in the description below. Well, that's everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below, or you can hit me up on Instagram at the Monster. If you enjoyed the content, please tap the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos coming soon. And as always, guys, have a great day and good luck on the exam.